All right, YouTube world, I got a question. I got a real heart-to-heart -heart question to ask everybody. So, you get up every day, clean kennels, or you clean their cages, or crates, or whatever, what may have you. You feed your animals. Then you go online, and you go and support some jerk-off that don't take care of his dogs just cause what he can read pads online he can read pets no, never mind the fact that this same guy I'm talking about shoot his dog up with BB guns out cigarettes on him keep him in a hard ass garage in little crates carry crates at that them shits they don't even look like dog houses to me get online and talk shit about everybody else and the the fact the fact that people follow him and support him is ridiculous. Ah ah, it, it's ridiculous. I, I can't even wrap my head around that. Let's go. Like I, I don't I don't get it. What am I missing? I don't even care how long ago that happened because if you've been doing that then, that same thing is in you now still. What have you outgrown? Okay, let's see. We got people that's been known to fight dogs, right? Maybe reformed. You know, shit like that. At the same time, I guarantee you, they still know how to take care of their dog better than that guy. I don't get how people can support that and go flocking to him because of what? Like, please help me understand this. Uh-uh. Rem, what am I missing? What point am I missing? I mean, look at yourselves. You go online to find, to find other ways to keep conditioning your dog, keep your dog in good health. What are you getting out of this dude other than him reading the pedigree? that you can learn to read yourself. What, is it the atmosphere? Hmm? I don't get it. What is it? Please help me understand this. Because I've been doing this dog thing for, since I've been 19. Actually longer than that. But when I got my first pit bull, full-blooded pit bull, not a mutt, not no mix-up, nothing. I was 19. I'm 47. These are the color of the dogs I actually started out with. These are actually the bloodlines, lineage of the bloodline that I actually got when I was 19. So I don't have to go to nobody else for their dogs. But I do like to watch everybody that can help me learn something that maybe I might've forgot or just didn't know. But help me understand why or how you can go and follow somebody, like somebody, subscribe to somebody that can't do a damn thing. What are you doing? Oh, that can't do a damn thing positive with his own damn dogs to the point to where he can't even own dogs no more. But yet and still, he got people that support him. Why? Y'all think he changed? Y'all think he's a good person now? Man, listen, anytime somebody doing all that, y'all see that shit. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Get back over here. We ain't going that way. See? It ain't hard. Come on. It ain't hard. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rim. Pepper. See? I ain't got to damn shoot my dog with no BB gun. I ain't got to put my hands on them. Unless I really have to. Unless I'm breaking up something. But I haven't had to do that in years. Let's go. Come on. And I mean years. But please help me understand that one thing. I gotta know. Hey. Hey.